again. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise God. God is excellent. Please bow your head while I go to the throne of grace. Praise God. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Great is thy faithfulness Lord unto thee. Morning by morning new mercy we see. All we have needed, your hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, we thank you this morning for your greatness towards us. We thank you for your faithfulness towards us this morning. We thank you for your love that have no ending. We thank you, Lord. We worship you this morning for who you are. You are the everlasting God. You are the mighty God. You are the Prince of Peace. More than all, you are the Redeemer of our soul this morning. So we thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you came. Holy Spirit, won't you tell us more, more, hallelujah, more about that lovely name. We ask you this morning to let the light from the lighthouse shine on us this morning. To lighten our corner that are dark. Oh God, let the light shine all over us today. It is a good thing to be in the house of God today. We thank you for your mercy. Oh God, we thank you to wake us up and clothe us in our right mind that we can be in your sanctuary to worship you in spirit and in truth. 
Let our worship require of you today, God. We pray that you will tabernacle with us here today. For if your presence is not here, our worship will be in vain. And God, in time like this, we need a savior. In time like this, we need an anchor. Oh, glory to God. We are into a troublesome world. A worry world. A weary world. A world that is full of distress. And we are um, stressed sometimes. Oh, God. But we can lean on you. And we can trust you. Though the storms may be raging, but we have an anchor that keep our soul this morning. So as we come together, oh God, in this sanctuary, we come to worship. Help us to be in oneness. Help us to put away all doubt and fear, anger, and all the things that would get us down. Oh God, and you will forgive us for our trespasses and sins. And that we will forgive others that trust us against us. For we want you to forgive us, God. So if we does not have the spirit to forgive one another, how can't you forgive us? Help us to lose ourselves and find it in you this morning. So as we come to worship, we pray, God, that you may take the praise and worship in charge, the musician, the ushers, Oh, God Almighty, the choir, the one that I'm moderating this morning, the one that will lead the devotion part of the service. Oh, God Almighty, as we assemble ourselves together in oneness, oh, God, we pray, God, that the Holy Spirit will control the worship. Let none come of self this morning, but every one of us come to worship you, to tell you thanks. Thanks, God. Thanks for the many blessings that you have been stored upon us. It's nothing good while we are here this morning, but all because of the mercy and the love of God while we are here this morning in this sanctuary. Throughout the week, many of us wasn't doing so well, but thank God we are here this morning. Oh, God, some of us don't know we are the food we find on the table. But you are a great provider. You make way out of no way this morning. So let us forget about everything this morning. And as we come, let us concentrate upon you this morning. Bless every visitor that I hear this morning. Every member, everyone that sees fit this morning to put everything aside and find themselves in your sanctuary this morning to worship you. God, remember the one that will come forth with the word. The word. The word that gives life. Oh God, the word that heals our wounded heart. Oh God, the word that brings deliverance to us. The word that set us free this morning. For we were in Egypt bandage. But thank God you reach down your hand and pull us up and today we can say thank God we are free. Free indeed. Free indeed. We are no more in bondage. But we are set free. So help us to remain in liberty this morning and does not go back to entangling in the yoke of bondage. God will leave this service in your hand God this morning. I found any in your house today that are not doing well in body. Oh God, touch them this morning from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet that they will have an open mind to receive your word and digest your word. Eat up your word. Oh God, eat up your word this morning for your word is life to us this morning. Have your own sweet way. Tabernacle with us today, God. We need a new word from you. It may be all, but every day come new in our life this morning. So please, God, we swing the rest of the service in your hand. And we want to say thank to hear and answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Shall we bless the Lord? Let us exalt the name that is above all names. I'm going to ask you to reach for your Bibles. And I'm going to further engage you this morning and ask you to lift up your Bible with your right hand. If you're left-handed, that's okay. And I'm going to ask you to give God a worship. And the Bible said the lifting of your hands is like the evening sacrifices. I'm going to further ask you to keep that Bible up. And I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. As I open this book, I open myself to God's presence in my life. God calls me to be aware of him in all the places and all the people I see. When I quiet myself, I ask God to engage me in kindness. Thank you, God, for your presence in my life. Amen. Our scripture reading is Psalm 136. Reading with me also. If you have found it, say hallelujah. And so where I stop, you will read. Psalm 136. Oh, give thanks on the Lord, for he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords. To him alone who doeth great works. To him that by wisdom made the heaven. To him that stretched home the earth above the waters. To him that made great lights. The sun to rule by day. And the moon and stars to rule by night. To him that smote Egypt in their firstborn. And bought out Israel from among them. With a strong arm and with a stretch out arm. To him which divided the Red Sea. And made Israel pass through the midst of it. But overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea. To him which led his people through the wilderness. To him which smote great kings and slew famous kings. Shion, king of the Amorites, and Hog, the king of Basham, and gave their land for an inheritance even an inheritance unto Israel. Is who remember us in our low estate and hath redeemed us from our enemies. Who giveth food to all flesh. Can we do verse 26 together? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. And we say, M three three five. Hallelujah.
in the scenes of deepest gloom. Sometimes where Eden's bowers bloom, by water still or troubled sea, still tis his hand that leadeth me. household of faith. I greet you well in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to just invite you to stand with me at this time as we welcome the Trinity in our midst. The songwriter says, what a privilege, what a joy divine to be leaning on the everlasting arms of Christ this morning. And as we come into his presence, we want to take the opportunity to exalt his name and to welcome him into the house of the Lord this morning. So I invite you to put your hands above your heads and help me welcome the Trinity in our midst this morning. 
To him be all glory, all honor, all power, and dominion this morning. Without the Trinity this morning, we would not be here. And so we want to bless his holy name. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Let me extend a welcome to our host pastor, Bishop James Lewis, and our first and only lady, Sister Jacqueline Lewis. Let me also extend welcome to our councilmen and women who are here this morning. Please stand. Welcome into the house of the Lord. Welcome is also extended to our musicians, praise and worship, our media, and our usher team. It's great to have you all in the house of the Lord. And we must say, without you being here this morning, service would not be the same. We appreciate you. Put your hands together for them. Let me extend welcome to those who are joining us this morning for the first time. We welcome you into the house of the Lord and trust that as you worship with us, that you will have an encounter with the Lord. Welcome to those who are joining us via our social media page that's on YouTube. We want to extend a hearty welcome to you and ask also that you will share the link with someone who needs to hear the word of the Lord. We trust that as you tune in, wherever you are this morning, that God's presence will hover over you and all things will become possible in Jesus' name. Let me also welcome this morning our newborn babes in Christ, those who got baptized the last week, please stand. Put your hands together for our newborn babe, Sister Anjali. Church, put your hands together, no man. Clap her, no man. It's a big step, you know. It's not a baby step. It takes a woman to do that. Amen, church? Yes, man, it's not no play-play thing. So this morning, we want to remind and encourage the church to bear them up in prayer, help them along life way. Let us nurture them. Let us call them. Give them an encouraging word. Remember they are babes. Don't rush them too much. Don't push them. Don't expect of them too much. But let us pray for them a lot that they will go through at this point in their lives. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. These are the day's announcements. This month is Men's Empowerment Month. We are tasked with planning programs to empower and enrich the lives of the men in our church and community. Evangelistic service is this evening at 7 p.m. All are asked to be out. And this is for every member. We are asking that you please come on out and let us worship the Lord together in the beauty of holiness. Members meeting will be on Monday, March 11 at 6.30 p.m. So that's next week, Monday at 6.30 p.m. And we ask all our members to please be out. Fasting service is on Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Bible studies Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. right here, also in the sanctuary. The Sandy Bay New Testament invites us to their annual rally this evening at 6.30 p.m. The Dynamic Voices Choir is asked to render the item. The Youth Department celebrates March as Bible Reading Month. The book to study is Romans. So all our youths are encouraged to read from Romans 1 to the, eight, to the end for the month of March. 
The Lilliput New Testament Church invites us to their annual rally, which will be on Friday, March 8. Please give them your support. The Sanctuary Choir is asked to represent the church. National Tertiary Ministry Retreat is March 14th to 17th at the campsite. Please speak with Sister Jada if you are interested in attending. Fellowship Friday will be on March 15th at 7 p.m. All children, teen, and young adults are asked to make an extra effort to be out to fellowship with each other. It promises to be a blessing. And that will be right here at the Glendevon Church. All night prayer meeting will be on March 15th. All are asked to bear this in mind. Garland's New Testament invites us to their annual rally on March 24th. The Women's Choir is asked to represent the church. March 22nd is the deadline to submit applications if you are interested in working at Camp 2024. Youth Department District Praise Fest will be April 19th. All young persons and those who would like to join in the worship are asked to bear this in mind. Youth Congress will be on April 4 to 6 at the Convention Center. We would like to arrange transportation early, so please indicate to Sister Marie if you are interested in going as soon as possible. Rally 2024 will be on June 28. And I believe this is the part where we shout and make a lot of noise and jump up. Praise the Lord because we are in business for the Lord. So I am going to do that again, church, because I know that we're still, we're not ready for the rally yet. So we need a little pumping, right? So I'm going to start that announcement again. Praise the Lord. Rally. 2024 will be on June 28th. Now the Lord loves a cheerful giver. So now that we're going to be giving, we're going to get all excited so the giving can start. Amen. Somebody say rally no man. Somebody say rally one more time. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. And what a time we had last year in our rally. So I am looking for greater things this year. And we are looking to make much more than we did last year, this year. So our rally 2024 will be on June 28, only four months away. Group leaders and members are asked to start taking in their contributions. And the choirs are asked to begin their preparation. So the Glendevon, Glendevon Women's Ministry, Choirs in Praise will be on April 7th at 7 p.m. All right, so the Glendevon Choirs in Praise will be right here in the sanctuary on April 7th at 7 p.m. The ladies department is seeking the assistance of the church to offset the cost of some tickets that for a function rather that was held at the Salt Spring New Testament Church of God. So we're asking the membership to come on out and give their support. You can take your contributions as low as $100 to as high as $5,000 is accepted to Sister Jacqueline Lewis. Also, Sister Jacqueline Lewis would like to meet with all the ladies right after service for a short while. Happy birthday greetings are going out to Sister Hulalee Rigon, who will be celebrating her special day on Tuesday. March 5th. Put your hands together for Sister Rigon no man. 
Bless the Lord. And also, happy birthday greetings are going out to all those who will be celebrating and they have not told us. We wish for you a happy and a hearty birthday and many, many more years to come. District Life Builder Service will be on March 10th at 7 p.m. at the Salt Spring New Testament Church of God. And all our men are expected to be out. At this time, I'm going to be asking the praise and worship team to please come and do the happy birthday song for Sister Eula Lee Regan and the others. Happy birthday to you. This, this is, is your day. You know that we love you in a very special way. This is your day, your day. birthday to you. You're so young. Age is just a number. Don't you stop having fun. This is your day. Happy birthday, Sister Regan, when it comes, and we trust that you will have a splendorous, splendorific, hallelujah-rific day. Bless the Lord, because you deserve it. Hallelujah. Happy anniversary greetings are going out to all those who are celebrating and will be celebrating their special day of love, fire, and desire during the course of this week. We pray that God will bless your union and that you will live to see many, many more years of celebration to come. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Do have yourselves a wonderful day in God's presence. Welcome to you, Sister Roper. Want to give thanks for Bala McCoy, Sister Mary Dixon, Sister Ken Clark, and also Sister Roper for the announcement and for the taking part in our day service so far. At this time, we'll be having a dedication of babies. Is there any baby for dedication today? Okay. When mothers of Salem their children brought their turned disciples drove them back and bid them to depart. But Jesus saw their hair, they went and simply smiled and kindly said, Suffer the little children to come. To me, for I will receive them and pull them in my bosom. Oh, I'll be a shepherd to those lambs to drive them not away. For if they are to me, then they shall with me in glory live. Suffer the little. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Let Lord. us bless his name again. I love the name of Jesus. Amen. And we are very grateful this morning for the, the strength that God has given unto us, whereby we can assemble in his sanctuary. And as we come this morning to dedicate this child you know, to the Lord, 
we are confident that the Lord is here with us and the Lord will bless us in a tremendous way. The Bible tells us that when eight days were accomplished, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. And the child grew and walked strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Luke chapter 2, verses 21, 22, and 40. As we have often said that the dedication of an infant does not impart salvation to the infant. So we are not saying today, because you are here for the first time, that this child will be saved. But rather, it's an acknowledgement of you that God would have given you this child and you want to rededicate him you know, to the Lord. And let me say that the, the family, the father is not here, but I know he's probably watching right now. The family is a divine institution created by our heavenly father. And children are gifts from God. So this child is a gift from God to you. And therefore, you have an obligation to the best of your ability to train up this child in the fear of the almighty God. It is your duty to protect him and to care for him you know, to the best of your ability. And I know that by God's grace, you will, you will do so. For as much as this child is presented by you for Christian dedication, it is your duty to provide a Christian home and a godly environment for him. You have to make sure that the, the surrounding of this child is clean. Therefore, whatever you do, whatever you say, you have to take him into consideration. Amen? And let me say this to you, that in the, in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses, I want to encourage you to bring up this child in the fear of God. There is indeed a God. Teach him to have respect and reverence you know, for the almighty God. And I want you to, to the best of your ability, to lead him to accept Christ as his Lord and Savior. I know there are many parents that don't come to church, they don't go to Sunday school, but they always send their, their children. And so I want to encourage you as much as possible that when this child grows up, he continues to be, you know, in, in church. And I want to encourage you too to rededicate your home to the Lord. I want you to make God the center of your family, the center of your home. And once you do this, then I, I guarantee you that the home will be a place where God will dwell, you know, continually. Do you members of this church accept this child in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and promise to be mothers, fathers, brothers, and sisters to him? Answer we do. And I want you to, to remember his name, that wherever he is, he belongs to the Glen Devon New Testament of God. Put your hands together for them. Could you please? Bow your heads in the body. O oh God and our everlasting Father, there is none like you. 
You are the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star. I'm very happy, God, to be presenting this child to you for Christian dedication. I commend him into your hands right now. And I pray, God, your, your mighty blessing upon his life. I ask your God to build a fence around him and allow this child, oh God, to, to grow up in his community and be a proper child. Young by feel, Lord, into your hands I commend him right now. And I pray, God, when no evil shall befall him, God, but wherever he lives, God, you will dispatch your angels, God, to, to that, oh God, house right now. To defend him, God, from every danger. To defend him, oh God, from principalities and powers. Bless him with wisdom, God. Let him grow up and be a proper child, God. Let no sickness be found in his body. I rebuke it right now, God. From the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, God. I declare him, God, to be strong and healthy. Bless him, God, mentally. Bless him, God, with wisdom again. Hallelujah. Whenever time he goes to school, God, I want him to do well. I decree it right now. If he's a liar, a doctor, a teacher, I pronounce it over him right now. In Jesus' name and for Jesus' sake. If it is your will for him to carry the gospel, John the Baptist was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. I pray for a special anointing upon his life right now. In Jesus' name and for Jesus' sake, I bless him. I bless his parents. I bless his God parents, God. And everyone who will have anything to do with the growth and development of this child, I bless them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Focus, human. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Praise Somebody praise the Lord. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. At this time, we'll be having a special item by Sister Joy Gordon. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Praise we have much to give God thanks for. We are up this morning in our right mind. We're closing our right clothes. And to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. If I carry the gospel to the lost near and far then i won't stand empty and dead at god's judgment bar. but i dare not relax until i finish this task Lest I should leave behind and unfinished task. For I have won, I have won the race. I have kept the faith. These words are long to hear. My Savior say, Oh, and when my life on earth is past, there's only one thing, dear Lord, I ask. Don't let me leave behind and on I've come to the 
cross and I would be leaving behind. Yes, oh, my earthly possession on this side, I want mine. It would make my heart glad. Hallelujah. For I have won, I have won the race, I have kept the faith, these words I long to hear my Savior say, oh, and when my life on earth is past, there's only one thing. The Lord, I ask, don't let me leave behind an unfinished death. For I have won, I have won the race, I have kept the faith. These words have long to wear my Savior said. Oh, and when my life on earth is past, there's only one thing the Lord I ask. Don't let me leave behind an unfinished task. Let me leave. behind. Brethren, when we get any task to do, let us do it willing, fully, for the Lord. Because it's not going to be easy leaving your task and finish. At this time, thank you, Sister Gordon, for doing that lovely song. At this time, we'll be going into celebration of praise. Praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask the church to stand, please. Hallelujah. 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 As long as you are not holding a baby and you are not sick, I'm going to ask you to stand. We are in the presence of the Lord, and we are here this morning for no other purpose but to worship the Lord. And if you come to worship, you are going to worship this morning in the beauty of holiness because that's what he desires of us. I'm going to ask you to lift your hands above your head and shout the name of Jesus. Jesus. Shout the name of Jesus. Jesus. Shout the name of Jesus. Jesus. Shout the highest praise this morning. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, he is worthy to be praised this morning. There's no other God like Jehovah God this morning. And indeed, he is worthy to be glorified this morning. He is worthy to be exalted this morning. And so we are going to worship God as if this is the last time that we have here to worship him. Hallelujah. Had it not been for his goodness towards us, throughout the course of the week. We would not have been here this morning. Hallelujah. If we have known what the Lord has kept us through 
even the course of the week, we would have given him all the praise this morning, all the glory that he deserves. I remember driving into a bus from Montego Bay to Sav, and it, when it reached, we didn't even reach Sav. I heard an explosion. And when I realized, I kept saying, Jesus, Jesus. But I kept looking on the driver to see if he would bring the, the bus to a stop. Finally, the bus came to a stop. When I get out of the bus, I realized it was right where I was sitting. The tire blew. And I came out and I said, thank you, Jesus. Because we could have, so many things could have happened. But thanks be to God this morning. I'm here to glorify him. I'm here to lift him up. Because he has done so much for me that I'm not even worthy of. But to God be all the praise this morning. Hallelujah. 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 We glorify your name, Lord. We exalt you, mighty God. Hallelujah. We lift you up this morning because you are the lifter up of our head this morning. Hallelujah. We praise your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are God alone from before time began. You are on your throne and you are God alone. And right now in the good times and bad, you are on your throne and you are God a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plans. That's just the way it is. You are God. You are from before time began. Lord, you are on your throne, and you are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, oh, you are on your throne, and you are God alone. You are the only God whose power none can contend. You're the only God whose name and praise will never end. You're the only God who's worthy of anything we can give. You are God. That's just the way it is. You are God. You are God alone. Before time began, Lord, you are on your throne, and you are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, oh, you are on your throne, and you are God alone. Say you are the only God who can contend. You're the only God whose name and praise will never end. You're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. For you are God and that's just the way it is. You are God. Oh, from before time be You're 
Before time began, Lord, you are on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, Lord, you are on your throne. You are God alone. Hallelujah. 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 Do you believe that we serve a God who is unchangeable? A God who is unshakable. A God who is unmovable. Hallelujah. He is God alone. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. 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 All the way to Calvary he went for me, he went for me, he went for me. Say all the way to Calvary he went for me, and now he sets me free. Morning star, oh, you are fairer, more 
That gold, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. Oh, what a wonder you are, Lord. You are brighter than the morning star. Lord, you are fairer, much fairer than the lily that grows by the way. You are precious, more precious than gold. Daniel, God, surely he will deliver. Oh, Daniel, God, he surely will deliver. For if you only look to him by faith, Daniel, God, he surely will deliver. Daniel, God, he surely will deliver. Oh, and if you only look go to him by faith, Daniel, God, oh, he surely will deliver. I say, Daniel, God, surely will deliver. Oh, Daniel, God.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you have the firm belief this morning that Daniel God surely will deliver, lift your hands and magnify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, no matter what the circumstances that you're going through, I can assure you this morning that Daniel God surely will deliver. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord most high. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. We worship you, Lord. We honor you. We magnify your holy name, Jesus. We exalt you, the most high God. You are exalted high above all else this morning. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Light of the world, you stepped down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. Lord, you're
coming to bless our tithes and offering. Please take out your tithes and offering as Brother Makai comes. Here I am Praise the Lord. Inviting the congregation to stand, please. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, who art in him, one more time we approach your mercy seat. God, we want to thank you for this day. Because this is the day that you have made. We must be glad and rejoice in it. Father, I want to thank you today for your grace and your mercy brought us through another day. Father, I want to thank you because you have been our provider. You have been our source, O oh God. You have been our source, O oh God. We depend upon you, Lord. We depend upon you day by day, Lord, because you are our provider. You are a providing God. Here we are one more time in your house, Lord, as we come to worship you and to offer up our sacrifice of praise unto you, Lord. We just want to say thanks, Lord, because you have provided a job for us, Lord. And as we go out and work, God, you said we should um, return one-tenth of our earning unto you. Father, as we come this morning, we pray, O oh Lord, that as we come, each and every one who has stretched forth their hand to give this morning, we pray for a blessing upon them, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless them, Lord, so that they will have to give, Lord. God, we pray this morning for a special blessing upon each and every one of us, Lord, and we pray that those who don't have to stretch forth their hand this morning, you will bless them in due time, Lord, so they will have to give unto your service. Father, we just ask that you will bless we ask that you will sanctify this which we are about to collect it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Years I spent in vanity and pride. Here in not my Lord was crucified, knowing not it was for me, he died on Calvary. Mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me and there my burden soul found liberty at Calvary by God's word at last my sin I learned then I trembled at the Lord I spurned till my guilty soul imploring turn to Calvary. For mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. There found liberty at Calvary. For mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me and there my burden 
sword found a liberty at Calvary. Now I've given to Jesus everything. Now I gladly own him as my king. Now my raptured soul can own Listen of Calvary. For mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. And there my burdened soul found liberty. salvation's plan oh the grace that brought it down to man oh the mighty God that God did span as Calvary for mercy there was great and grace was Multiply to me, and there my burden so found liberty at Calvary. For mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiply to me. There my burdened soul found liberty at Calvary. For mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. There my burdened soul found liberty. I just want to welcome Brother Spence in service today. He is one of our shutin, and so he has, he has been here with us worshiping God. Continue to worship God, Brother Spence. At this time, the choir.
bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank Jesus for the plan of salvation to save. For you understand, I want to be there on that great judgment morning to kiss all those nail prints in his hands and his feet. One morning at daybreak, as the clouds slowly gathered, like a sheep he was torn, up Calvary's hill. Oh, no, For the plan of salvation And say, Lord, I love you For you understand I want to be there On that great judgment morning To kiss all those names On the cross he was nailed In shame and forsaken As they drove through through the nails In his hands and his feet As death closed his eyes His cry went to Forgive them, my spirit receive. I want to thank Jesus. In the tomb he was laid, but death could not hold him. He was God's only son in this world of sin. On the cross he fulfilled the plan of salvation. Don't forget when he calls for his coming again. Great job. 
judgment morning to kiss all those nail prints in his hands and his feet. I want to thank Jesus for the plan of salvation and say, Lord, I the plan of salvation and say Lord I love you for you understand I want to be there on that great judgment morning to kiss all those days the plan of salvation and say Lord I love you for you Come on, lift up your hands and praise the Lord, somebody. Oh, oh, oh hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Don't sit there, everybody. Don't, just stand up and worship the Lord, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. I want to thank God for the plan of salvation hallelujah I want to thank him brothers and sisters for the plan of salvation because if it was not for salvation oh Lord I would not be here today I could not be standing before you but look what the Lord has done has the Lord done anything for you come on lift up your hands and thank him again things I used to do I do them no more. Place I used to go, I go there no more. And it is all because of the plan of salvation. Just grab the persons and beside you. Just grab the persons and beside you. Just grab the persons and beside you. Come on, everybody. Just grab the persons and be beside you. Come on, let's lift up our voices to God. In a, hold back the hand, hold the hand, hold the hand. All the persons on beside you. Father, come on, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your presence this moment. We thank you for this privilege. We thank you for the plan of salvation. We thank you for the anointing. We thank you, God, for the breakthrough. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth when miracles will take place in this house today. In the name of Jesus, root out and pull down and destroy, destroy God all the plans of the enemy oh God revive your children right now let your glory be in this place and take full control now I decree and declare God your blessings over your people now no weapon that form against us today shall prosper and every tongue that rise up against us in judgment shall be confounded I decree blessing 
I decree the anointing. I decree glory in the sanctuary. Let the people praise God. Let the praise people say, for the mercies of God endure it forever. Clap your hands for Jesus. Shake off some stuff in this place today. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. I, I, mm, amen, amen. We are in church today to worship and to exalt his excellent name. You may be seated, please. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm not going to leave you the way I came, somebody. I came for a blessing. I came for a miracle. And I'm going to receive my miracle. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus. The text for the day. See with me today. Comes from 2nd. Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. This is the word. Of the Lord. Mr. Technician, could you just up my mic a little bit, please? Thank you very much. That give me some more clarity. Thanks. Hallelujah. The topic. Thank you very much, sir. The topic for today. Down but not out. Amen, somebody. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I am down. But I'm not out. Hallelujah. Good af is it morning? Good af good morning, brothers and sisters in the Lord. It is good that we can gather again. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and King. And as you know, he's not only a king, but he's the King of Kings. He is indeed the Lord of Lords and the conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah. Today it's my intention through the power of the Holy Spirit to share with you a word of hope and encouragement. As you know, brothers and sisters, quite well, that life is filled with all sorts of difficulties. It is filled with challenges. It is filled with disappointments. It's also filled with triumph. It is filled with night. It is filled with day. It is filled with sweet. It is filled with sour. It is filled with ups. And it is filled with down. But we trust the almighty God today, that God will lift up your spirit in a special way. And let me say this, brothers and sisters, it is during our time of disappointment when we may feel low as believers, we may feel cast down as believers, 
that we are reminded that sometimes we are down, but we are not out. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Sometimes you are cast down, but we are not out. It is said that the phrase down but not out is a common expression used to describe a situation where someone is facing difficulties or setbacks but has been but has not been defeated or given up. I know that some of us here today may be feeling down. You may be experiencing some setbacks. But I want you to know today that you are not defeated. Amen somebody. Amen somebody. And don't give up. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Say it with confidence. Don't give up. Hallelujah. It conveys the idea that even though someone, hallelujah, may be experiencing challenges, they still have the determination, amen, to continue fighting and striving towards their goal. You have experienced some challenges. But I say within you today, there must be a determination to continue fighting. Look at your neighbor and say fight. Say fight on. Hallelujah. I've experienced disappointments. But you know what? I'm going to keep on fighting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On a personal level, being down but not out can signify going through the tough times such as health issues, financial struggles, emotional setbacks, yet maintaining hope and optimism for better heads, for better days ahead. Amen, somebody. I'm going through some, some health issues right now. I'm going through some, some challenges right now. Amen. You have gone to the doctor and the report is not good. Health-wise, you are not doing too well. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, although you are law, hallelujah, in your spirit, although the physical man, hallelujah, seem to be deteriorating, but let me tell you something, you are not out. Let the church say not out. You are going through some financial struggles right now. The bills cannot be paid. Hallelujah. Oh, no food is on the table. No money is in your pocket, somebody. But you know what, brothers and sisters? I am down, but I am not out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I am not done. You may be going through some marital issues right now. Hallelujah. Some marital challenges right now. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. In spite of what you are going through. Irrespective of what you are experiencing today. It is not over. It's not over. It's not over, Glenn Devon. It's not over. Lift up your hands and say, it's not over with my marriage. It's not over with my relationship with my husband. It's not over with my relationship with my wife. It's not over. I am down, but not out. I don't have any money today, but I'm not out. The Bible says, in the text. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast 
down, but not destroying. In these verses, Paul shares his experiences under the challenges he faces in his missionary work. It serves as an encouragement for believers to persevere through difficult times and trust the almighty God to keep them. As we go through this sermon today, I want to challenge you to persevere. I want to challenge you to keep on going on. I want to challenge you to keep on moving and trust the almighty God that God is going to keep you at the Glendevon New Testament church. I trust that God is going to work it out for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for we are troubled. Let the church are troubled. On every side, yet not distressed. The word trouble can be defined as a difficult or problematic situation that causes distress, inconvenience, or hardship. Oh my God, we are going through some hardship right now. You are going through some difficult moment right now. And the Bible says, on every side, everywhere you turn, Maka joke you. Everything you try to do is problem. Every plan you make, the devil seems to, to, to mash up that plan. Every side, every program you in, implement to get a breakthrough is trouble. It's trouble. It's trouble. We are troubled on every side. Sometimes you have to say, God, I want one. What is the problem, God? Every side. But you know what? Problems will come. But you know what? We are not distressed. Hallelujah. Although we have problem, Lord God Almighty, we are not distressed. Amen. Refers to a state of extreme worry, pain, or suffering. Yes, there are problems. Yes, there are difficulties. But you know what, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. We are not distressed at all. Hallelujah. We are not distressed at all. We are not in an extreme worry. No pain or suffering. We are going to come through in spite of trouble. Something gone wrong with the mic. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not distressed at all. Don't be distressed. Don't allow the situation to get to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Paul explained that he had and his companions faced various troubles Hallelujah and hardship. But they do not let these challenges overwhelm them. For even though we may face challenges and difficulties in life, we still find strength in the almighty God. You are not going to allow the situation to get you down. You are not going to allow the problems that you are facing to get you down somebody. You don't hear me, brothers and sisters. We are not distressed physically, spiritually, financially. We are low, but we are not distressed maritally. Things are not working the way or they are to work. But I am not distressed. Hallelujah. The pain is there. The hurt is there. The devil is rocking. The devil is attacking. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are going to find strength in the Almighty God today. We are down, but we are not out. I'm down, but I'm not out, somebody. I'm broke, but I'm not out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10, Fear not. Let the church say, Fear not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hallelujah. He is always with us. Guiding us and providing for us the strength that we need to endure, brothers and sisters. Fear not, hallelujah. Oh, fear not, brother Mela. Fear not, I am with thee. Be not dismayed. I am thy God. I will lead you, Glen David. I will shelter you, Glen David. You are depressed. You are perplexed. You are cast down. You are troubled on every side. But you are not distressed. Say to somebody, I have problem, but I'm not distressed. Oh, Lord, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Back some more bass on the mic for me, please. I'm, 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 I'm straining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is always with us and providing the strength that we need. And so we have to depend upon the Almighty God to lead us and to direct us continually. Let the church praise the Lord. So we are troubled on every side. Everywhere, but we are not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. The word perplexed means a state of being completely puzzled, confused, or unsure about something. It describes a feeling of being uncertain or unstable to understand a situation or a problem. Oh God, we are we are perplexed, God. I can't understand why this is happening. Why last year it happened. And now again, I can't understand. I am perplexed, God. I can't understand it, God. Come on, church. I can't understand it. I can't see through it. I'm perplexed, God. I've done my best. I paid my tithes. I paid my offering. I serve my, 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 my God well. And these things are happening to me. Check one, two. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm confused. I am perplexed by what is happening to me. I can't understand the situation, God. I can't understand the problem, God. Why? But you know what? In spite of the problem, in spite of the situation, hallelujah, I'm not in despair. Let the church say I'm not in despair. In the name of Jesus, I'm not in despair. Hallelujah. Despair is a feeling of utter hopelessness, sadness, or loss of faith. It is a state of extreme discouragement or despondency. It means even when we are confused or unsure about how to handle a situation, we do not lose hope. Oh, God Almighty. I am unsure, God, as to how to deal with this. I want to take the matter to quit. I want to do this. I, want, I, I am unsure, God, how to deal with this crisis. I am unsure how to deal with this difficulty. Hallelujah. But you know what, brothers and sisters? Hallelujah. I will not be despair. I am not going to lose hope. Look at your neighbor and say, don't lose hope. I've, I've, I've got to deliver the sermon today. I've got to deliver it. And you've got, to, you've, got, you've got to walk with me. I've got to deliver this message today. I've got to deliver it. You can't sit quiet when I'm preaching. Oh, yeah, I've, got to, I've got to deliver it. I am. Cast off, but 
am not despair, but I'm my Lord. Hallelujah. I don't lose hope because my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest prayer, but holy live on Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give me some volume, please. Hallelujah. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking, son. Come on, lift your hands and praise God, somebody. I'm confused as to why it is happening so frequently, but I'm not despair. Oh, I don't lose hope. I don't lose hope. I will keep on fighting. I will keep on doing the work of the Almighty God. Hey, we trust the Almighty God. We trust God's confidence. We trust God's assurance. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to be this. Oh, somebody lift up your hands and praise God. Somebody lift up your hands and praise God. The school fee must be paid. The light bill must be paid. And everything must be paid. And I'm confused. Hallelujah. But you know what? I, I, I put my hope in the almighty God. I put my expectation. Somebody plead the blood of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Somebody plead the blood of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Somebody plead the blood of Jesus right now. Just stand on your feet and shout the name of Jesus three times, everybody. One, two, three. Shout it again, somebody. Shout it again, somebody. Shout it again, somebody. Shout it again, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am determined by the grace of the Almighty God. I am determined by the power of God Almighty that I will not lose hope. Look at your neighbor and say, no, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Things are going to be better. It's going to be better. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In spite of the adversity, in spite of the difficulties, I will not lose hope at all. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then verse 9 says, persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. The word persecuted, another translation says, we are hunted down. We are hunted down. The devil seems to be hunting us down. Problem seems to be hunting us down. You don't hear me, somebody. They get up, they get, they get up in the morning and a problem seems to come in after you. Until you down, all the disappointments from hell running you down to attack you. Let me preach the word. Amen. All sorts of problems until you down, somebody. All sorts of challenges until you down. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Stop! Come on, lift up your hand. Lift up your Holy Ghost hand and say, Stop! Lift up your, lift up your Holy Ghost and say, Stop! Lift up your Holy Ghost hands and say, Stop! Come on, Church of God. Lift up your hands and say, Stop! Stop running me down. Stop coming after me. Stop hunting me down. Stop running me down. Trouble, crosses, problems. Stop. 
Sickness, stop. Problem, stop. Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! Demons, stop. Principalities, stop.
but I'll not destroy. The devil will knock you down. Problems will knock you down. Situation will knock you down. But you shall not die. You shall live and declare that the, the works of the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Yes, somebody. I am cast down. I am knocked down. But I am not destroyed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know why? Because it, because of Psalm 91, verses 9 through 12, it says the reason that you will not be destroyed because there was made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague any disease come nigh thy dwelling hallelujah we come against disease we rebuke disease leave my house alone leave my family alone leave the church alone in the name of Jesus no disease shall come nigh thy, thy dwelling rebuke it right now Rebuke every disease right now. Rebuke every plague right now. In the name of Jesus. Come out of my house. Come out of my church. Come out of my yard. Come out of my oh Lord. Come out of Get the Holy Ghost boom. Sweep them out. Come on, get the Holy Ghost. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. You sit them. Get the Holy Ghost boom. Sweep it out. Come on, Bill. Come on, believers. Sweep out, sweep out problem. Sweep out lying. Sweep out accident. Sweep them out, Lord God. I want some Holy Ghost people to help me sweep out. Oh, no. No plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. Yes, sir. 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 is this holy ghost church and no plague no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling nothing at all nothing at all God, I'm going to set you up oh, your sickness hallelujah no plague shall come nigh thy dwelling no shall rebuke it in the name of Jesus You know what? You shall give his angel charge concerning you. He shall bear you with his hand. Lest thou dash thy foot. I, oh Lord. Oh God said, I'm going to protect you so that no hurt can come nigh you. Lest you dash your foot against us. Look at your neighbor and say, you can't hope you me. Look at your neighbor and say, you can't hope you me. You can't send a dopey no demon to come bother me. If God does not give you the permission, God has to give you the permission. You can't kill me. Tell them they can't kill you. They can't kill you, but I may learn. Unless God gives them the permission to kill you. Because he shall give his angels charge. Amen. There's an angel watching you. 
Some don't like you, but that's too bad for them. Amen. Amen. Too bad for them. Sister Scott, Scott, too bad for them. Too bad for them. Too bad for them, they can't spend. God said, I will give his angel. He will give his angel charge over you. Over you. Over you. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, say, neighbor. There's an angel that is in charge over me. Watch yourself. Don't try to mess with me. Because if you mess with me, you're going to be messed up. There's an angel. Sister Malone is an angel. We don't worship angels, but there's an angel. And the one time devil made to kill you. It's not one time Satan made to kill you. It's not one time Satan made to mash up your business. And the oh, and one try and try, but because an angel. will run on you and kill you. You know how many people who not throw on the bus? You know how many times them throw you under, under the bus? Expect the bus to crush you. Mash up your head. Hallelujah! You are sold into slavery. And while in Potiphar's house doing service, Joseph encountered another difficulty when he was falsely accused of attempted rape and he was thrown in prison. God Almighty. But while in prison, Joseph continued to exhibit remarkable strength of character and interpreted dreams for his fellow prisoners. Let me tell you something, man. Anywhere they throw you, Anywhere they throw you, you are going to grow. Amen, somebody. You pick me up, you lick me down, I bounce right back. What a hard man. Come on, somebody. As I pick you up, you lick you down, but you bounce right back. And when you're in prison, God will work for you. Lord Jesus. Ultimately, Joseph's ability to interpret dreams caught the attention of Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt. He accurately explained the meaning of Pharaoh's dream, which predicted seven years of plenty, followed by seven years of famine. My God, he was made a ruler, second to Pharaoh in Egypt. Listen, man. What God. There will be a lull. There will be a 
allows, 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 lull sometimes, a lull sometimes. You know, when it comes unto God, building you up, lifting you up. But let me tell you something, man. Hallelujah. It won't be, it won't be for long. You know what I'm saying, man? It won't be for long. There's going to be a period in your life that I say, Lord God Almighty. Not now go on for me, man. Now go on for me, man. Yeah? There's going to be a break. There's going to be a break. But God will bring it on. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm going to be the next leader. I'm going to be the next leader. Come on, you don't, you, you don't talk like you believe it. You don't talk like you believe it. Come on, lift up your hands. I'm going to be the next leader. Although I'm in prison, although I'm going through a period right now that tells me that it's not possible, but, but, but I'm coming out of it. Hallelujah! And God bless him. Bless him and all his relatives. You see the bad man people who want to see your God of your own generation, you are going to turn around and help them. I say, Lord, live it and my soul, live it. Because you know what? God just dropped it in my spirit. Sister, mother, daily, they don't see the famine. But you see it. They can't see the famine. And they will do everything to kill you. They can't look down the road. They just look right here according to what they are seeing. But there is something coming up down the road. And it is you God prepared in the family to save the rich them. To save those who try to kill you. To save those who abandon you. Down, but not out. Amen. Let me give you one more. I'm, I'm closing. It's a preach, pastor, preach. It's a preach, pastor, preach. Hallelujah. When we, when we look at Job, he's another prominent, hallelujah, figure in the Bible who faced sufferings and difficulties and lost, despite losing his health. His wealth, his family, Job did not lose faith in the, in God Almighty. In all this, Job did not sin, not charge God foolishly. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. He fell down before the Almighty God and he worshiped God on the ground and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return to the, the Lord gave and the Lord take it away blessed be the name of the Lord somebody lift up your hands and say blessed be the name of the Lord watch this in the end God restored hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. God restored, restored Job's fortunes and blessed him with even greater prosperity than before. Job 42 verses 10, 12, and 13. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. Somebody said pray for your friend. Pray for your friend. Also the Lord gave Job Twice as much as he had before. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job. More than the beginning. For he had 40,000 sheep. 6,000 camels. And a thousand yoke of oxen. And a thousand she horses. He had also seven sons. 
and three daughters. Amen, somebody. The devil killed ten. The devil killed off the first. Set. But God said, I'm going to give you seven boys. Mm. Calamari. Let me tell you something. You might have been married for years. And there is no pregnancy in the marriage. Come on, lift up your hands and believe God right now. Lift up your hands and believe God for pregnancy. Lift up your hands and believe God that you're going to be pregnant by your husband. Hallelujah! God is going to bless you in the whole age. God is going to bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, Sister Louisa, she's not praying at her. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your hands and pray. Lift up your hands and praise God, somebody. God is going to multiply. His blessing is over your life. Uh, Job was down, but he was not out. Uh, let me tell you something. Listen this. Listen this. God is about to give you one of the greatest comebacks that you have ever seen in your life. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, how many of you believe that right now? God is going to give you a great comeback. Hallelujah. You think me did done? Me just a come. God is going to give you a great comeback. Somebody lift up your hands and praise God. God is going to lift you up. Let the church stand on your feet right now. Lift up your hands before the almighty God. Let the church begin to praise God. Lift up your hands and shout as they come back. Say, I'm going to get my comeback. Oh, a comeback, a comeback now. This comeback time now. My greatest comeback is about to take place. My greatest financial breakthrough is about to take place. My greatest healing is about to take place. My greatest deliverance is about to take place. My greatest anointing is about to come upon me right now. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you believe you are going to get a comeback, move out of your seat and lift up your hands and walk in this church and praise the almighty God for your comeback. Praise him somebody. Hey, come down off the praise team. Walk up and down in the command. Praise God for your comeback. I'm shaking off so 
stop, stop. I must get back to the place where I used to be. I'm getting my comeback. Hallelujah. I'm getting my comeback. It's comeback time. My greatest comeback is ahead of me. church. I believe in a mystery church. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody say, wait until you see me tomorrow. Wait until you see me next year. I'm getting my comeback. I'm getting my comeback. Lord God, they leave you to die. We see when I'm seeing next year, Lord God Almighty. So when I see you next year, my God, all the blessings start to flow. They start to flow next year. I'm down, but I'm not out. Say it one more time. I'm down, but I'm not out. Don't write me off. In Jesus' name. We have to pray for some. Don't sit. We are, we are closing now. We have to pray for some miracles right now. And blessings of God upon our lives. One, we pray for Sister Kamik, where she is. Please come, Sister Kamik. Kamik. We pray for Sister Samuels. We pray for Deacon Weatherburn. Who this morning called and said there's a pain in his chest. To be, should be off to the hospital. We pray for him. We pray for Sister Weddyburn's daughter. We pray for him. Oh, Sister. Oh, Sister Murray. Hallelujah. Down, but not out. Oh, Hustler Spence. Okay. Oh, brother Spence. Come, brother Spence. Let us there. Oh, okay. Hallelujah. Somebody help him to come to the altar. Praise God. Come, brother Spence. Come. Hallelujah. And if you have to get a chair, give him a chair. And we get the sad news too. Please stand, everybody. Nobody should be sitting right now. We get the sad news this morning. I came to church. Former first lady, Davis. I don't know the, the, the first name. Ed, oh, Edlet Davis. She has gone on before us. She has passed on. I want us, before we pray, to, to give a, a few seconds of silence for this wonderful woman of God would have served the Glendevon New Testament Church as a former first lady with pride and dignity. And we know she would have run a good race, a faithful race. And her soul is resting in the presence of the Almighty God. We pray for peace. Could it be, please be silent for a few seconds in honor of the life of our sister, beginning now. What good, Sister Davis, we meet you in the morning. Hallelujah. 
cold. Hey! Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today. We thank you for life. And we give you thanks for everything. Because all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. We thank thee, O oh God, for the life of our sister, your daughter. You have called her home to be with you. It has left, oh God, our hearts really sad today. We pray for comfort right now. You know the, the relatives, God. You know even one of them, children, grandchildren, or siblings, or wherever they may be. I put them before you this moment. And I pray, God, you will build a fence around the Davis's family right now. You let them know, God, that you are with them. And that you will never leave them nor forsake them. But you will guide them to the end. I cover them under your blood right now. And I pray, dear God, that they shall be comforted. They shall be encouraged. And as you said to the Apostle Paul, my grace is sufficient to keep thee. So do I ask you now, God, to allow your grace to be sufficient to keep the Davis's family right now. Bless them and sanctify them in Jesus' name. I commend, oh God, sister, Kamika, into your hands. God, you know her condition. Lord, she went to the hospital a few days ago, but she's in church today. I lay my hand upon her right now, God, and I pray that every condition, God, that she's experiencing against your will right now shall be removed now. Touch her kidneys, touch her liver, touch her lungs, touch her body now. In Jesus' name, I rebuke sickness from it. Come out of her right now and be healed in Jesus' name. I commend Deacon Spence into your hands, your servant God. You know him. You know Sister Spencer. I put that before you right now. I pray in the name of Jesus for divine healing over their bodies right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Brother oh Spencer, I call you by name. Rise. Take up your bed and walk. Every bone in your body. Every bone in your feet right now. I command them to be strengthened in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth be healed remember Deacon Wellyburn God and Sister Wellyburn oh God they are not in church today but the Wellyburn not doing too well one of our faithful servants God I commend them into your hands right now and I pray to your God that the sickness that he's experiencing shall be removed right now I curse that stomach pain right now I rebuke it, God. I come against heart attack. I come against every disease. In Jesus' name, be healed right now. Be delivered. Be set free. And every request, God, that is on the altar right now, I pray for deliverance. Every brother, every sister who needs healing right now, send your power. Send your anointing, God, and bring freedom to them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Sickness, come out of their bodies right now. I come in the church into your hands. Many members are here today. They are down, God. They are cast down, Lord. They are low in spirit. But I pray for freedom right now. Lift them up, God. Plant their feet on higher ground right now. 
Let them jump for joy. Let them rejoice in your name. Let them praise you, Lord. And as the Bible says, let everything that art breath praise the Lord. Miracles upon miracles. Bless Glendivan Church, oh God. Cast out every dark clothes. Cast away principalities and powers from this church. This day. This moment. No other time but now. And those who are watching right now, that young man, that young lady, that mother, that father, that brother, who is struggling right now, they are down, Lord. Their backs are against the wall right now. But in the name of Jesus, I pray for breakthrough. I pray for deliverance. That pain in the back, that pain in the head, that stomach pain, leave their bodies right now and be gone in Jesus' name. That demon that is attacking you right now, I rebuke that demon right now that allows you to be cast down in Jesus' name. Come out of her. Come out of him right now in Jesus' name. Somebody shout victory. Somebody shout victory. Somebody shout deliverance. Somebody say loose. Loose. Loose right now. In Jesus' name. And even the olive oils, God, today. I bless them. I sanctify these oil. God, your children believe in healing. They believe when they are prayed for God. And they use them. Victory will be theirs. Have your own way now. I sanctify them. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I wave my hand over them right now. And I release your anointing over them. And they shall be blessed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Glory! Glory! Somebody praise him again. Yes, Lord. Wow. I don't know. I don't know who knows this song. He knows my name. Is it known? Anybody knows it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. He. Please stand it up when you're close, Lord. Oh, how he talks with me. Hallelujah. Oh, oh how he tells yes. me that I is all. Oh. He knows my name. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hand. And oh, how he talks with me. Hallelujah. Keep the word to me. And oh, how he tells me 
One more time. He knows my name. Come on, sing it with that assurance today. He knows my name. I am down, but I'm not out because he knows my name. He knows my name. I close this service and don't pray for Brother Cox. I'm going to be in serious trouble. Amen, somebody. We're going to pray for Brother Cox right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today. I commend your son into your hands, oh God. God, you know his name. You know everything about him, God. I put him before you again, Lord, this day. Oh, Lord, I commend him into your hands. And I pray for a miracle over his life right now. I pray you will bless him, God. Bless his van. He was involved in an accident sometimes last year. Oh, God, and today, hallelujah, he met into another accident. I commend him into your hands. I commend the vehicle into your hands. I put a blood coverage over him right now. And I pray for your divine shelter over him right now. And over his wife, over his family, every one of them, God, I bless them, I cover them. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost, thank you, God, for divine protection and for blood coverage in Jesus' name. We break the curse. We break the attack. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody say break. Somebody say break. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord bless thee. And keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. And be gracious unto thee. And give thee peace. And sport and forevermore. Shall we all say amen? Sister Liz. Yes, Sister Lois would like to, to talk to the ladies and the members of the, the youth choir. Dynamic voices. Please meet me in the conference room right now. Thanks very much. Hallelujah.